I quite agree with Albert Camus, who's one of my great intellectual heroes, that politics should not offer a total catechism. It is about a way, as he put it, of keeping our house in order. And it should not, you know, it cannot promise, and it certainly cannot fulfill this wish for a kind of transcendent moment that will be enduring. It reminds me a little bit of the discussion in, in Milan Kundera, the book of laughter and forgetting of the dance of the angels, where if you're going to be one of the angels, you have to hold hands and be in this circle all the time. And, you know, and if you're, if you ever let go the hands, the circle closes and you're out. That's it. You can't be part of the, the dance of the angels anymore. And it's no surprise to me that people sometimes describe the contemporary academy as the herd of independent minds, you know, because of the way people all sign on, you know, um, with, with, with a certain ideology, a certain view about political life, uh, certain positions on a bunch of controversial issues. I think much of the search for meaning in politics speaks to the fact that that which historically had given meaning to people, traditionally had given meaning, namely religion, was uh, slowly but surely fading um, for in the lives of many people. There's a gap there, there's an emptiness, and people search for some transcendent something uh, to link themselves to, and that helps to explain the search for a kind of ecstasy through political life. You know, forgetting that the earthly city, as St. Augustine taught, and the heavenly city are not of a piece with one another. You know, the one exists outside history and can serve, in a sense, as aspiration for a search on this earth for a measure of order, a measure, decent order, a measure of peace, a measure of justice. But the notion that you can uh, achieve that in its totality and, again, realize a kind of heaven on earth has always been the, the, the sort of motor that moves the system of, of uh, totalitarian politics and other dangerous political movements.